What Nakayama-san's doing over here is essentially pushing one button, <laughs> correct? Yeah, we're looking at him right now. He's playing with one hand. <laughs> <laughs> and doing all that, as you can see here. Hello, everyone. Welcome to another episode of PlayStation Underground. Excited today to talk about Street Fighter VI. I'm your host, Brett, and I'm joined... Going down the row here, next to me we've got Andy Wong from Capcom. Hello. And translating today, helping us talk to the producer and director who we'll introduce shortly is Hiroshi. Hi. Hello. And also down here we have director Nakayama-san. Hi. And producer Matsumoto-san. Hi, hi, hi. Happy to have you all in. Uh, <laughs> happy to have you in from Japan, out from Osaka. Great to be here. Also, this is probably the first little behind the scenes of the first PlayStation Underground we've recorded in person in who knows how many years. You're the first ones in so long. Oh, wow. Happy to make it a good one. Uh, but we're going to talk about dynamic controls in Street Fighter VI, which is uh, you know launching imminently slash out now, based on when we're <laughs> posting this. Uh, it should be pretty available right about now. But um, we're going to talk about character program, uh, character profiles, ways to do moves, combos. We're going to look at all of it. We're going to start first, though, with a look at some arcade mode and dynamic controls, which you guys have talked out a, a little bit about. But we're going to take a look at how that works in game. A, a great beginner mode, it sounds like. Yeah, it's. we've been saying that it's really button mash friendly, so it's really for anyone that really just wants to play, see all the cool moves, and it's, it's local only, so it's right. not in line yeah. uh, But a lot of people that we've been talking to said like it's a great thing for maybe their nephew or their niece or their sure. little brother who's not into fighting games to just get into and see things. Yeah, so let's take a look. We'll jump in with Marisa here and look at arcade mode. And arcade mode, uh, so as with... Oh, we get a little intro first. The oldest martial art. Its origins date back to ancient Greece. In the arena, no form of attack was taboo. Fighters would gouge each other's eyes out, if that's what it took. A Pancratius's pride was everything, with many choosing death over submitting in defeat. And I am their descendant. What am I doing, you ask? <laughs> the same thing we Pancratius have been doing for thousands of years. Fighting, of course. And these are all I need. Ready to go. How about that? Japan. So, jumping into arcade mode. Classic face-off. I do love you move the, was it, D-pad to change the face of the mm -hmm. character. I love mm -hmm. those. Um, yeah, what we're looking at here is dynamic. So you were saying a great beginner mode. So uh, what Nakayama-san's doing over here is essentially pushing one button, <laughs> correct? Yeah, we're looking at him right now. He's playing with one hand. <laughs> <laughs> and doing all that, as you can see here. So uh, good. It is. It's pretty amazing. And it, each button, <laughs> it does something different, depending on like how far you are or how close you are. It's contextual. So, like, it does, yeah. 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 So if you're far away and you're maybe Ryu, we're not Ryu right now, we're Marissa. Um, but if you're far away as Ryu, you can press a button and he just does a Hadouken. Mm -hmm. But then okay. if it's close and you press the same button, he'll do uh, a combo. Cool. Oh, nice parry. <laughs> that didn't, didn't matter. Uh, making quick work of Ryu here uh, to get through the uh, arcade mode a bit. But um, like you were saying, it's a way to. Because so much matters when picking a character in Street Fighter is how the look and feel of that character speaks to you, right? And I feel like dynamic mode is a, is a fun way to just see them in motion, see their moves, see how they animate, see what just their personality is, right? Because that's a big part of picking a character, uh, especially a casual player like myself. Like, that's what I gravitate towards is a character that is exuding some kind of energy that mm -hmm. I uh, associate with. And so this could be a good way for, like, their super beginners to get a handle on that. No, exactly. And that's, like, what it's built for. It's to see what each character is capable of to see what makes them the character. Like Marissa, you can tell she's an imposing character, uh -huh. she's almost like a bullying style play. Right, up and in your face. Yeah, if you're a beginner, you might not know how to do that. But in Dynamic, it's pretty clear that all her moves like make you go forward and everything. Right, you'll see how they connect. Exactly, right. exactly. And then as we'll get through in the, in the remainder of the Underground, um, we have a few... There's modern controls that we'll talk about mm -hmm. here right in just a moment. And then there's, of course, the classic six-button controls that, you know, old-school players are going to know really well. And all of those options are available to you at any time. Uh, obviously, Dynamic, like we said, is offline only. Local. Can't take that online. Nope. But uh, it is a good way for, like, a brand-new person to jump in 
looking good. <laughs> yeah, Nakayama-san literally just <laughs> holding his hand out. <laughs> Laying waste to the opposition. But you can see also, that's a good note here as well, is um, unlocking things as you played through. Mm -hmm. Ah, the truck. The tr everyone's everyone's best friend. If it's not a car or a pile of bricks, it's a giant truck. <laughs> yep, yep. So like, <laughs> the detail. Just watching this engine, it's captivating me. It's a classic Street Fighter. Where's that grill going? There we go. <laughs> I actually think uh, Marissa can probably beat up a truck in real life. <laughs> like, I'd have all the characters. I mean, I'm seeing evidence of that right in front of me. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> but yeah, you can still do dynamic in this mode, too, and it's probably easier as well. Man, the core of this truck is, is the hardest part of the truck. They should make the whole truck out of that part. <laughs> <laughs> Seriously. <laughs> um, so I think now we're going to zip out of this arcade mode um, and just jump into another character, but then show uh, the same kind of situation, but with the modern controls, which is a different approach. And if you kind of, we were, we were talking offline earlier about if you start at the top, say, dynamic, very beginner friendly, very like just push buttons and see cool things happen, get a sense. The next step down for a brand new player might be what we're going to look at now, which is modern controls, mm -hmm. um, which you want to talk a little bit about how those work. Yeah, so modern is a different way of thinking. Uh -huh. um, there is an amazing assist button, which is on the PlayStation controller, R2. <laughs> uh, but then instead of like three kicks and three punches, mm -hmm. it's light, medium, heavy, depending on which button you press. And then there's a special button. So you can do a Hadouken with just triangle. Mm. And then you do Hadouken, or you could do a Shoryuken with triangle and forward. Mm -hmm. So the whole thing is mapped out, so it's a little easier to use. Um, but it, it's it's totally viable online. It's a different way of thinking if you want to do modern. And yeah, um, it is in some ways easier to use uh, than the classic. Mm. Uh, for anyone who wants to really get into from dynamic to classic, it's a good middle ground. Mm. It's a nice, the next step down of, down or up, depending on which way this metaphor is going, but like yeah. <laughs> uh, of introducing yourself to seeing, getting the satisfaction of button inputs, seeing moves come out, yeah. seeing moves land. And learning a character one 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 step in, yeah, and it's it's balanced in a way so that they're both again viable. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So Manon, ballerina style. Oh, she's like fashion a, style. Fashion, fashion, judoka, supermodel, everything, everything. all of the above. <laughs> yeah, can you talk about like you mentioned like uh, kind of a grappler getting close kind of character? Mm -hmm. So we're seeing with modern controls. Yeah, so she can just press triangle, and it could just be a special move. There we go. Well, that's, a, that's just a throw, there but right. yeah. Throw, yeah. <laughs> there we go. Like command grab, yeah. Yeah, there we go. Nice. And Manon is super cool because she's like a metal count on the right under her bar. Oh, I see that. Yeah, so every time you do one of the command throws, uh -huh. uh, that increases, and when it reaches like level five, it's an insane amount of damage. Oh, okay. So the more you land, damage output goes up. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I might be simplifying there, but that's... That's about right. <laughs> She's so cool. Um, and then there's the auto combo. So if you hold R2, the assist button, mm. and start just pressing square, 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 or Ooh. XXX, or circle, 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 it'll be a combo just by itself. So you can see what it looks like before you want to try it in maybe classic mode or something. Mm. Uh, and yeah, supers also easier to do is just triangle, circle, and a directional button. Nice. So what was the flashy move we saw Man on pull off there? Uh, Drive rush? Uh, Did I miss it? I think I might have missed it. Let's see. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, we'll get into some of the uh, the meters you see at the top. Obviously held at the top, but then you've got uh, this meter where your overdrive moves, drive rush, drive impact, all that will stem from that, which we'll probably get into in some of the trials, but loving the fashion. Yeah, and for arcade mode, the score that you see, mm -hmm. these can actually be uploaded online to online leaderboards. Mm. So, like, there's more ways to compete than just against each other. Uh, you could, if you're an arcade mode aficionado, great, get the highest score. And we also talked about um, we saw some notifications of like unlocking things. So as you play, you'll unlock different. Obviously, there's an ending for the character when you finish, but then other items you'll unlock in galleries and so on. Yeah, yeah. I don't know if Nakayama-san wants to talk about that. 
What we'll do now is classic controls, which is that six button layout uh, people are familiar with from whether arcade days, console days, going back into the 90s, uh, the classic format. Exactly. And these are really great just for anyone, even veterans uh, mm. of Street Fighter, because this is a brand new Street Fighter. So it maybe is. Cammy, um, she has changed from her pr previous mm. iteration. So it's a good way to just basically see what else you can do. Oh, for sure. We were, we were playing earlier, and like I've been playing as Blanca since you know, <laughs> yeah. playing in bowling alleys as Forever. a kid in like 91. <laughs> I, 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 I have to gravitate towards the weirdos in every one of these games. Uh, and but even like playing Blanca all that time, like it it behooves me to go into this mode yes. and learn because some some inputs have changed and mm -hmm. possibilities of the character have changed. And he has the Blanca Chan dolls, and there, there's other things going on. So even if you know Kami really well, if you know Honda Ryu really well, mm -hmm. um, or if you're a brand new player, as you see here, you're going to get a very clear instruction on how to do a move, spiral arrow for for Kami. Yeah, it, they teach you like the the ways to use spiral arrow here, and then they give you a chance to do it yourself, just so you can get more custom to the commands. Yeah, and I really like these contextual notes at the bottom that are a thing that's hard to convey in any training mode. Is like here's what the move is, but here is beneath that is the why you should do this move, because um, that was a big thing for me learning as a kid. Was like. My, my trick is I will do super moves all the time. <laughs> Same, honestly. <laughs> and, and until you, it's not until you're like, I'll just throw fireballs the whole time. Yep. There's no no strategy can beat this. And then you're like, oh, right. Um, so I, I, teaching a new player, like, here's why Spiral Arrow is a useful move is yes. hopefully what these notes is helpful in conveying that information. Um, like t teaching you about anti-air, teaching you about spacing and what that does. Mm -hmm. And it's different for every single character, so it's not yeah. the same lesson. It's it's oh cool, yeah, 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 very dependent on which character you're choosing. Nice. So overdrive is yeah doing a special move with two button presses instead mm -hmm. of one, and it's a more powerful version of the mm -hmm. move. Mm -hmm. um, and it takes up two bars of the drive gauge. Of the drive gauge, uh, yeah. the green bar, yeah. Which you know those overdrive moves um, useful for. It's it's like a powered up move of that same thing. So like, again, I, I will use the Blanca example because uh, you, you can you can throw the headset <laughs> off me at any point and, no. I'll, and, I'll, and I'll leave. But uh, like the regular ball will just like get hit by a projectile. Mm -hmm. If you do an EX ball, he'll go through the projectile, which is like, hey, great, this is a way I can now compete with a. It's one option I have for a projectile. There's I can do the river run and go under it. I can mm -hmm. do the duck, but I could also use a ball. Hey, and there we go. Nakamura san showing you the Blanca Chan dolls. <laughs> oh, here we go. Look at this merchandising. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, even just playing them just a little bit, there was uh, familiar things, but then they have new inputs or how they connect is different. So it's it's a fun way to play something familiar yet also feel new. Mm -hmm. So you place the Blanca John bomb down. Yep. Oh, is it di oh different punch buttons do the distance? Okay. So this is his install. It's it's from a. It's basically like he's video trigger oh, two. Oh yeah, the, where Street you Fighter can five. Yeah. chain different uh, yeah. vertical or horizontal ball attacks, and they keep hitting. Yep, yep. Yeah, it's just he's just goofball, annoying. That's <laughs> <laughs> it's what's fun about playing. Uh, the only downside to a Blanca is Blanca mirror match, where you've got two people doing just the like same that. thing, and where and uh, you can acknowledge it from across the room, like. Give each other a polite nod. Yeah. And then everyone else is just <laughs> get back down here. But yeah, like uh, electricity here being a, a direction instead of, you know, typically you'd mash yeah. punch buttons. Um, interesting. Yep. But like I said, that's what this the character guys are. Yeah. Good for veterans. Uh, just to get used to their the characters again. Um, cause yeah. you know, Ryu gets played everywhere, so Yeah. 
And so from the character guide, obviously then if you're wanting to get into a little bit more of your own training, uh, you can jump into a classic training mode, been around for many years, but there's some uh, you know quality of life stuff in here that will probably show off. Yes, lots of it. Again, for newcomers and for the FGC pros. That it, that it. Who should he uh, try out? Oh, if we're just doing a training mode, I mean, I, we could look at one of the new characters to to see training, Tashi like uh, Kimberly. Kimberly, and I know uh, Andy, you're fond of uh, JP. I do love JP. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone's fashion is just on another level in this game. And, yeah, I wanted to mention that off the top, too. Just the overall color palette of this game, the street, the neon, the graffiti, it's just all, it exudes Street Fighter in a way that is just, it, it all comes together so well. Even the trailers, like the way the trailer mm -hmm. stitched together different scenes, it's really, it's really slick. So, yeah, lots of text on screen, but this is all useful information when you're, like, really in there and know, know your character. Yeah, the, the two bottom bars are basically the frame data. So for people who don't know, you know, fighting games is at a high, super high level. Right. Uh, it's, a, it's a frame system where if there's like a, you know, you got to see which moves are, are safe and whatever. But sure. like, even if you're new to the game, it's a good way to just see things visualized. Right. Yeah, it's like most folks, you can play 100 hours of Street Fighter mm -hmm. and not worry about frame data and just have fun. And... How I live most of my life, uh, but <laughs> but there are times when it, it is useful to go in and, and see that just to know in the back of your mind, like oh there is, oh this move has this many startup frames, this move has this many. So it, even if you just internalize like this move feels safe in this situation, this move does not feel safe. As long as you start internalizing that on a broad level, that can make you better pretty quick. As same as learning like don't do a special move just because you can. Yeah, it's the why you do a special move, but also knowing in in broad terms like. I shouldn't be doing this move all the time, this normal, because this, the windup is too much, or it's not safe on block or whatever. Exactly. exactly. Um, and hopefully you're getting that from this mode. Mm -hmm. What uh, options did uh, Nakayama-san put on? It's frame data. Andy so yeah, he was just kind of messing with the um, the cancel, like a visualization of like where, like when you can cancel the the move. So like um, one of our uh, system moves, drive rush, uh, you can cancel from cancelable normals into a drive rush, and then the the red and blue kind of is like an indicator that shows like when you can uh, cancel into that. Yeah. Okay. Because that is. When you know Street Fighter Four, Five, and now Six, when they come out, like for one of the first things I certainly do is figure out which character I'm going to play. But then also is going to training mode and just like what cancels into what, yeah, or, or, yeah. or what what is an even option, and, and having like an indicator like that is is really useful to know. Like I, I shouldn't waste my time. Like I'm sure this will connect if I just try hard <laughs> enough. And it's like no, no, no. It, this this readout, this visualization helps you make those connections a little faster. Oh, I love Kimberly's level three. So what <laughs> changes the music? <laughs> changes the music is slick. This is, I'm guessing this just unlocks new, or just an overall powered up mode for Kimberly. Uh, yeah. So it it if she hits, then it does do damage. But even if it doesn't hit, she gets into this mode where you see her. She's dancing. There's new music, and she's uh -huh. powered up for the whole match. Rest, so, rest of the match. So even if you put this out, or even if she does it in round one, she still has it for round two. Oh, and, okay. Yeah, and oh. round three. So her. She's faster, she does more damage, mm. and she has that bomb music playing. Yeah. I even again, just to come back to the color scheme of the whole game, like the the very comic book style aura mm -hmm. around her head which signifies mu music is happening. It's just very slick. Oh yeah. I, I love the style for this. So he's gonna show some other kind of like existing like um, practice scenarios. So right now he's showing us like um, if you want to pra uh, practice how to counter a drive impact with your own drive impact, this is kind of like an easy way to to set the CPU so that it will kind of randomly uh, perform drive impacts, and then this kind of tests your your timing. Yeah, reaction speed exactly. Yeah. Oh, okay. Reaction speed and yeah. 
And it's just kind of like a, an easy setting they could just automatically turn on and like, I want to practice this. And then it'll allow you, it allows you to do so, yeah. So if you're again thinking of that you that hypothetical user journey we've been on here of a player like jumping in and picking character, eventually you're going to want to jump into the combo trials mm -hmm. where many of us have spent many hours My uh, tr trying to land <laughs> these combos. Um, but yeah, we were thinking of one of the like classic uh, eight world warriors. Um, so are, you know, a lot of folks watching probably have some kind of memory of those eight Still characters, okay. and we'll get into their combos, which start. Man very manageable. Like, okay, this very makes sense. Manageable. This is this is what I understand. Gotcha. Yeah, like there's a beginner. It's actually split between beginner, intermediate, and advanced. Right. So the beginner ones are, as you can see, there's just like a, oh. a small short target combo. Great. With our favorite favorite Ryu. So just fundamental things that look great. Fundamental things that you know, if you're new to the game, these things still make a difference. Um, if you're in classic, at least. Yeah. Just the air into the sweep. There we go. He's down. <laughs> There's quite a there few. There you go. That's the, the bread and butter. There, <laughs> low board <laughs> fireball. The, the, room go, the room goes wild. Yeah. <laughs> uh, truly one of the most satisfying, like 12 years old, figuring out how that worked. Yeah. Like, you mean this just goes right? This wow. It's just so satisfying. <laughs> yeah. Oh, so he's just emphasizing that if you are having a hard time executing, then mm. you, you can, you know, press the button to, to see a sample of what that actually looks like. Right. Yeah. Super helpful, because yeah. sometimes the timing is a little off that yeah. you think, yeah, yeah. so it's good to see people, like, watch. <laughs> <laughs> this guy's computer's too good. <laughs> yeah, I remember definitely having to go in and, and see some demos of, oh, that's really cool, too. Yeah. Um, slowing the game speed down so you can really get a sense of the timing of, especially when you get into longer combo strings or practice. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Just for anything, too. <laughs> <laughs> no, this is super useful, and I think hey. it makes things a lot more forgiving. Yeah. Uh, because a lot of times, if you're trying to do like a long combo, you're thinking about the second step. Yeah, you get in the your fourth own head. One. Yeah, Easy the, to get in your own exactly, head. Exactly, yeah. exactly. And then, and then applying that to a real world scenario where it's like, okay, I've, I've figured out this combo, but now I have to put in... Can I land this on a human yep. being? It's just all part of the journey, but it's just so satisfying going online or playing with friends and just getting like casual matches with mm -hmm. uh, a lobby and you're just like playing with friends. It's like some of the most fun I've ever had with fighting games. Oh, or yeah. video games in general, just being able to play with friends at your same skill level and just like having figuring out characters and, and experimenting, it's so fun. Oh yeah. Ooh. And Street Fighter 6 has like a lot of ways just to play with your friends, either casually yeah. or if you want to do, you know, ranks, that's fine too. But just you know, it should be a fun experience for everyone. Yeah. I'm stuck. So what is this the Ryu like uh buffed down down punch? Oh, and he so like summons energy. Yeah, so that is uh, his Denjin charge. Okay. Denjin charge. Yeah. Um, it buffs his fireball, buffs his, his new move, Hashogeki. Mm. And if you do it with the Hashogeki, it kind of results in a, a spin or a crumple. Okay. And then the idea is here from that spin, you can then keep going. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> it's my favorite thing to do. When I play Ryu, uh, I just dent and charge, Hadouken, dent and charge, Hadouken, <laughs> over and over again. If, it, if they keep getting hit by it, I <laughs> keep doing it. Exactly. <laughs> it's one of the like the psychological warfare of, this guy's not going to throw me three times in a row. But then, He's definitely not going to throw me four times in a row. <laughs> definitely not five times, and right? five times would be crazy. <laughs> and then... <laughs> Leave that. Took a booty knife. It's like a hard time with this combo. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, this is how it, this is. How it is. We, uh, chat with friends while you try to get some combos going. Hey, you could sit here for like a long time doing these combos, but they're they're great and like they're uh, they, yeah they're dependent on you know which which character you're playing. So for like maybe like super complicated characters, the it's going to be like super long. Right, mini inputs. Whereas we were looking at one earlier, it was like. It was an advanced combo, but maybe only like five, mm -hmm. you know, four or five actual input, not inputs, but sections of the combo, right? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, but it also just helps you 
get a sense of even if you can't land the combo or if you're just it takes a long time it just it opens up your mind to what is possible with that character of like exactly. oh I didn't even realize these things spoke these two aspects of the character spoke to each other this move and that move or this state to that state mm -hmm. um, a character spinning or crumpled or whatever yeah knowing you can catch them that way yeah just tell us about the it's a new mode but it is add some fun uh it's wild uh, yeah chaos just wild. Wild. Yeah. <laughs> any of those same words well, look gimmick. it up in the thesaurus gimmicks there we right go. there totally. oh uh which uh set of rules and gimmicks do you guys want to see i mean which ones do they want to show i mean <laughs> heaven and hell is leaping out to me oh heaven and hell everyone <laughs> right. and oh my goodness yeah, i lot. mean i do uh, love Mega, Some Mega Man. <laughs> the, I mean, I'm, I'm always there for the, okay. the Mega Man references. But uh, yeah, we were looking at Shock Zone earlier too, I think, which was funny. Yeah, so Extreme Mode is, as you saw, rules and gimmicks. So rules is basically changing how you win. So it's right, not it's necessarily not damage. Okay. It could be, uh, we clicked Heaven and Hell, so you'll see how that works out. But there's another one where you have a bunch of things on the top that tells you all the moves that you have to do, which is super educational. Um, and then the gimmicks is like what happens on the stage. So there's the mm. running bull one that people might have seen. Yeah, trailer, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, and this one, you, we chose the, the Mega Man one, right? <laughs> Mega Man gimmick, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but this is wild mode. It's for fun. Uh, if people want to do do tournaments with this, great, go for it. <laughs> <laughs> Man, it's just fun. His watch, seven minutes. Okay, so heaven to hell. Yeah. Oh, no. <laughs> so every character has some a random buff and a random debuff. Okay. <laughs> wow. <laughs> <laughs> no specials. Oh no. <laughs> yeah. Oh, it's, special moves disabled. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah it's, it's super wild. It's, it's crazy. And so what does the Met do when it lands? Oh, it's just like mm -hmm. it lands and gets in the way. Yeah, whoever kicks it first can activate it. Oh, okay. Yeah. And so CPU Guile side dash is disabled, but both of you have a larger perfect parry window. Yeah. Let's see if anyone uses that. But <laughs> but the benefit of a perfect parry is like, yeah, if you land it on the correct moment, it opens them up to counterattack. Mm -hmm. Or, mm -hmm. you know, you can hit them back. Exactly that. Oh. Yeah, so like think of all the different rules and gimmick combinations there can be. It's, I, I don't even think I've tried them all, but like mm. I've done this so many times and it, it surprises me every time. It's just a mode to laugh at. Laugh. Oh yeah, with. it's. Oh, and they change mm. per round. Yeah, they do. Oh, okay, that's pretty fun. <laughs> you gotta pay attention. Permanent burnout. Also, no meter. Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Jumps disabled. Yeah. <laughs> wow. The debuffs get get like yeah. They're pretty severe. I don't even know which one's worse. They're both pretty bad. <laughs> but that is fun because you're both, yeah, you're both dealing with your own problems. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone has their uh, own problems. <laughs> uh, just out here trying to survive, man. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> man, CPU Guile is just going crazy. Bonk. Oh, the media guy. Oh, yeah, because his, his attack up is so high. He was able to oh, KO yeah. right there. Ah. And then take a look at one more, which was uh, we were looking at the one where uh, forget which one this is, but um, where you have different moves you have to do within to win the match, like a bingo style thing. Yeah, that just seemed like a again just a fun way. Oh, he wants uh, bombs away is a okay. good oh, gimmick. Yeah, yeah, let's do it. Classic outfits. And yeah, I love these intros. This is just so good. I never get tired of them. I let them play out every single time. And it changes depending on what stage you actually. Oh, cool. Yeah. So it is the actual stage um, during the versus screen. <laughs> <laughs> That's a meme right there. <laughs> it's too serious. Yeah, so this is a really cool rule. Um, and it's educational, as you can see, like, do one throw. Yeah, so, yeah, on the left, you see, yeah, Honda's rules here. To win the match, needs to throw one time, do one command throw, and so on. Um, but meanwhile, you have no health bar, so it's just, mm -hmm. you have to do these things to win. Yep. Oh, there's the bomb. Here we, here we go. 
It's like a hot potato thing. <laughs> also very scary. But yeah, whoever can complete them first uh, wins the round. Okay, we got two. So now I get two drive impacts, two punish counters. Oh, Jamie interrupted. Oh no! It's gonna. Oh. <laughs> I love this. <laughs> Man, <laughs> he's not having it. Yeah, Jamie's like, you're not. Oh, they're, okay, there's two of them now. <laughs> there's a drive impact. Yep. Okay, we're, now we're in there. So one more. One more. Ah. Oh, this one's gonna be really hard. Oh, oh you did it! <laughs> I'm like, this one's gonna be difficult. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> like, punish counter. <laughs> Oh, and it's fun. They don't like do a KO thing. They just look. They get their frustrated kind of timeout mm -hmm. uh, animation because it's like shaking fist. Mm -hmm. And it changes between rounds. Yeah, the course. rules rules refresh. Yeah. Yeah, it's just a fun. I don't know, like meta game to think of. How am I going to get these moves? Because you both know you're both trying to get these very precise things in, <laughs> yeah. not trying to do anything fancy, just trying to get get the moves in. Yeah, and if you want to go like super strategic, you look at the opponent, what they want to do. Mm -hmm. And Box you make sure there. that they don't do it. Right. <laughs> That's a top tier strat yeah, right there. I, I, I've got my notebook here, so <laughs> yeah, hopefully I, write that down. <laughs> make them not do their thing, whatever Hunt or Jamie's is doing. Okay, that one's. Oh, there we go. Good job. That's it. <laughs> Honda wins. <laughs> Love it. What do you drink in power up like that? <laughs> I do love the character specific interactions those are always fun but yeah thanks again so much for bringing this over and we're super excited uh, the game's out June 2nd and we are like been excited to watch the game flourish over the last couple of years obviously we've had it in a couple of state of plays and it's been so fun to watch the trailers the character reveals um, and yeah can't wait for everybody to get their hands on it and start playing we'll see you all online thanks again for joining us thank you thanks thank you thank you, thank you. Thank you. Thank you.